Okay. Hey, when that happens. Oh my god, we are all blind. Uh, that's not good. That's not good. Good heal. This is bad. Not great. Seeds. Uh -huh. No, let's do. We'll do advanced magic on us, then teach Particio. And then we want to do teach. Class is in session. So we give you all of that stuff. Oh, it's only a random thing. It's only a random thing. got one part of the train wrecked just gotta hold on okay we're poisoned grant a single ally your attribute raising effects for two turns but we didn't though oh no attribute raising not okay never mind never mind, never mind. I see, I see, I see. I see, I see, I see. I call upon the miracle of fear. This is bad. Hmm. Just keep doing. Spear of the Warlord Lord. Spear. <laughs> then we'll do the Blood Revenant. Give us a whole bunch of beefs. Whoa, I'm out. Gonna do this, Mr. Rock. Mind your envy. Oh, nice. Most of the train is gone. Well, very good. Thinking time. Hmm. Hmm. Don't mind if I do. Give me some of that SP back. Then I have a feeling we're going to be breaking them soon. I'm just getting warmed up. And that does like nothing. No, not yet, not yet, not yet, not yet. I'm just getting 
just getting warmed up. Magia Envy. That's a hook. Uh, just keep attacking. Come on, then. I do not regret for an instant any of the decisions I have made. Except for one. That's you, Particio. You were too dangerous of a foe. I should have squashed you when I had the chance. Back when you were withering away with that disgusting little town. Huh. I'm grateful to you, Mr. Rock. What? Thanks to you, I experienced abject poverty beyond anything I could have imagined. That's what helped me realize the truth. That things of value, well, they deserve to be shared. I don't yet know just how much of a difference I can make, but I plan to do all I can to share the wealth and help make the world a happier place. That's what being a merchant means to me. You simple, naive, ignorant, foolish, unsophisticated, gullible turtle. Harsh words. The fool's errand, Particio. Sell off those useless ideals. Learn from history. No matter the time, place, or era, it is always the wealthy, the powerful, the deserving that define the course of history. <laughs> okay. Ah, you missed, sucker. Thinking time. Fortifying defenses. Oh, you have no. You have no. Don't mind if I do. My prey awaits. Let's get to work. Oh, my friends came to finish off the train. You're finished, Mr. Rock. Now on to Mr. Roll. Also, I'm proud of myself that I held off on the rock and roll joke the entire game. But we had I had to say at least once. Now that we're killing him, best time. This is the first time something's ever slipped through my fingers. It was one measly pocket watch that changed my life, you know. I saw it glittering in a shop window one day, and I knew. I wanted it more than anything in the world. I spent endless hours working as a boot black. My hands stained with polish before I finally could afford it. At the moment it was mine, a deep dissatisfaction sprang to life within me. For a new trinket had caught my eye. So I went back to work. I struggled and I acquired. Over and over again I did this. Until one day, I no longer cared how I came by the objects of my desire. By the time I realized I only cared about myself and money, it was too late to turn back. Oh, Mr. Rock. What'd you want so bad that you'd do such vile things to get it? Huh. I don't even remember anymore. Besides, that's all in the past now. My time has come and gone. The future belongs to you now, Particio. Share your values of 
sharing value with all. Lead the merchants of this world down a new path. This place is about to collapse. Go, Butashio. Uh, no, my first story is Oswald. Leave me. We did not suplex the train. And watch it all crumble away. This guy still has to be filthy rich, right? He also just got 80 billion freaking leaves. Like, he is so wealthy and he's sitting there like, oh, I am ended. I'm like, motherfucker, you got 80 billion from this deal and who knows how much more money you got. Like, what? Goodbye, Patricio. I see. This man is so filthy rich. Higher rock. Oh my god. He doesn't need to work for us. He... Skills. None. This man has no skills. I think you're misunderstanding me again, Mr. Rock. Huh? Uh, you're talking big about me leading people and sharing values and whatnot. But that's not how this story goes. Every merchant's got their own ideals and walks their own roads. Of course, not everything's all rainbows and roses. Sometimes people stumble. My goals only to help them get back up when they fall. Mm. Well, time to hit that dusty trail again. Uh, by the by, Mr. Rock, seeing this contraption of yours gave me an idea. After you rest a spell, how about joining me on a new business venture? No! Oh, uh. Unbelievable. You never change, do you? I've never met a merchant like you. He tried to kill us with a train. He tried to run us over with a train. I finished most of the measurements. That's so. Good work. Hmm. What do you think about it coming through here? Hmm. This valley is a detour. And we'll cut down on speed to boot. Optimal efficiency would be achieved by having the tracks travel straight as an arrow through town. That's an urban area. I think the residents would take issue with that. Then we pay them to move. That 80 billion I'm investing in this venture should be used for something. Some things can't be bought, Doc. Those are people's homes. They got memories there. And convincing them is your job. You're the one who's deaf at tugging people's heartstrings. From a logical perspective, this is win-win. The tracks will raise property values and bring in business. Everyone should benefit from this in the long run. Everyone, huh? <laughs> we stood here just like this once, 16 years ago. Remember? Oh, that is that the dog? That's the guard dog. And we worked like busy little bees. Yes, that's right. I've remembered something I had long thought forgotten. There is true value in toiling alongside equals, sweating and working for a common cause. Of course. The thing that really has me excited is this new business venture of ours. <laughs> the times they are a change, huh? 
Brock, uh, Mr. President, sir. <laughs> None of that, Thurston. I'm not your employer anymore. All the villains from this arc are here. Ah, right. My apologies. Come now, let's start off on a new foot. We're colleagues after all. Excuse me, sir. A letter from Particio, sir. Hey, so how's it going? Thank you for the reset for 45 months. Hey, Pops. Hope you're doing well. Sorry, but I can't come home just yet. We're still short on goods and people. Afternoon. And I need to rustle up a whole lot more of both. After all, our new venture is bigger than a Cetus Maximus. What is this? What's a Cetus? Laundry. Ah, the, the dreaded laundry time. He's gonna send a letter. He could at least include some orders from on high. Now, now, I see no issue. It's a sign of his trust in us. Besides, I'm sure he's busy out there somewhere wrapping up another business deal. The president of Particio and Rock is a busy man. Articio and Rock. Particio and Rock. Under company president Particio, the heavy taxes on the steam engine's use were abolished. In their stead, the company employed the poorest segments of society. As for the products Rock Brilliant had once monopolized, his name they was were Rock Brilliant. Freely to people all around the world. Extra, extra, read all about it. Hey, they said the line. <laughs> another day, another pile of overtime. Oh boy, I love overtime. Are you watching, brother? Wait, what? When I first met him, he handed me a silver coin. He spoke hopefully about a bright future, though I found it difficult at first to believe him. Nevertheless, even now, he's working tirelessly to see his dream fulfilled. An industrial revolution has come, and is beginning to change the world. That's me. Hey there, son. Been a while. Oh, yeah, I remember this kid. Oh, the shoe shine kid. It's been a long trip to get here. My shoes could use a pot. I, I don't know who her brother is. How about it? For old time's sake. Sure. Here, you, you filthy peasant it. child, shine my shoes. <laughs> I, uh, read something in a paper I found. It said you're trying to save the world from poverty. <laughs> That's right. Things are going to change if I have my say. The steam locomotive's going to see to that. Dun, 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 dun. It's this big old hunk of iron that can speed all over the continent faster than a horse can gallop. Yeah, Particio's theme is good. Like if he was riding in one of them. Better yet, it'll help facilitate transport and cultural exchange. Everything will start growing closer. Wowee! You know, I remember you saying you wanted to travel the world. Want a job that'll help make that dream come true? Yeah! You got yourself a deal, yellow guy. <laughs> That's what I like to hear. There it is. Look at this train. Wait, his train also has a gun on it. Doo -doo 
do, 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 do. It's a peace gun? Sure it is. Share SP. Grant a single ally 25% of your remaining SP. Costs zero. Hmm. Okay. It's for self defense. Okay, hey, listen to this jam. I'll be right back and uh, then we'll load up that Resident Evil demo and see what that's like. Oh man, that song's still going on. I thought it would like fade away. But okay. Alright, let's get the other game up. Uh Resident Evil. Where are you? There you go. Chainsaw demo? Okay. Who do I have left? Oh, um, I have... 